There are a lot of dishes that you can cook in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. However, because of how many different ingredients you can find while out exploring Hyrule, knowing what to combine in order to make a dish that's worthwhile can be a little difficult. Luckily, there are some recipes that stand out from the rest that are always worth stocking up on when you have a few minutes away from adventuring to cook. Here are the top 10 best recipes in Tears of the Kingdom. Take note that most of the ingredients required to cook these dishes are pretty simple to find, so you should be able to start cooking regardless of how far you are in the game. Game. Also, as always, this list is subjective, so if I missed your favorite dish, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Number 10. The Hasty Elixir The Hasty Elixir is made when combining a hot-footed frog or high-tailed lizard with monster parts. It'll give you a boost to your speed for a set amount of time, which can make exploring much faster and make you a lot more lethal in combat. The more of the frogs or lizards you put in the pot, the longer the effect will last. This can help you when you're fighting difficult enemies that tend to run away, like the Muktarok and the Water Temple. You can find the frogs and lizards in different caves around Hyrule or just buy them from Beetle. Number 9. Tough Meat and Mushroom Skewer Cooking tough meat and mushroom skewers is pretty simple. All you'll need are some iron shrooms and your meat of choice. It'll not only restore a sizable amount of health when paired with high quality meat, but it'll also increase your defense for a set amount of time. Depending on the amount of iron shrooms you add, the longer the buff to your defense will be. It's super helpful for taking on some of the tougher bosses in Tears of the Kingdom like Gleox, or when you need to wear armor for utility over armor rating. Iron shrooms can be found pretty commonly throughout Hyrule, but they can be found more prevalently in forested areas in the southeast region of the map. Number 8. Warding Fried Wild Greens Eating warding fried wild greens will increase your gloom resistance. To make the dish, combine dark clumps with Hyrule herbs. Its effects work similarly to the Depths armor set. Once you eat the meal, you'll gain additional hearts that you can use while you're in the Depths. Gloom will take away these hearts first before your regular hearts, so warding fried wild greens can be a lifesaver when you're in the Depths for prolonged periods of time, especially in the final hours of the main story. To increase the amount of gloom hearts you get from eating it, add more dark clumps, which can be found in the Depths or purchased from the bargain or statues. Hyrule herbs can be found all over Hyrule. Number 7. Energizing Honey Crepes to be entirely honest, you'll probably be able to make more efficient meals than the energizing honey crepes, but the dish is included on this list because it highlights the fact that if you combine the right ingredients in Tears of the Kingdom, you can turn Link into a chef that Cooking Mama would be proud of. To make energizing honey crepes, combine a bird egg, cane sugar, coarser bee honey, fresh milk, and Tabantha wheat together. The crepes will come out looking delicious and actually have some solid benefits. When you eat them, you'll regain 10 hearts as well as some stamina. Number 6. Mighty Simmered Fruit Mighty Simmered Fruit is extremely easy to make and only requires one ingredient. Mighty Bananas. Once you eat the meal, your attack power will increase for a set amount of time as if you were wearing the Fierce Deity armor set. Depending on how many Mighty Bananas you add, you can increase the amount of time the buff is active. Mighty Bananas can be found growing on banana trees in the southern regions of Hyrule, but you'll likely get most of your banana stash from taking out Yiga Clan members who will always drop them when defeated. Number 5. Sunny Veggie Rice Balls Sunny veggie rice balls are essential for anyone exploring the depths. Made by combining Hylian rice with Sundalions, sunny veggie rice balls allow Link to restore hearts that have been lost to the gloom. Usually, to restore hearts lost to the gloom, you'll need to return to the surface. However, the rice balls can allow you to stay down for much longer. The more Sundalions you add to the recipe, the more gloom hearts you recover. You can find Sundalions on the Sky Islands above Hyrule or around pieces from the islands that have fallen from the sky. Hylian rice can be found in the fields around Hyrule or purchased in most general stores. Number 4. Bright Fish Skewer Fish skewers are a great way to restore a bit of health, but bright fish skewers have the great effect of making Link glow, allowing him to see where he's going in the unlit sections of the depths. To make bright fish skewers, all you'll need to do are cook some glowing cave fish. With the glowing effect activated, you won't need an endless supply of bright bloom seeds or the miner's armor in order to properly explore the depths. Glowing cave fish can be found in bodies of water within any cave and are easily identified since they glow with purple light. Number 3. Sticky Elixir The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom introduces the frog armor armor set, which allows Link to climb wet walls without sliding down as frequently. However, to get the set, you'll need to complete an extremely lengthy side quest. The Sticky Elixir can give you all of the effects of the frog armor set without actually having to complete the quest, which makes it pretty useful. To make the elixir, combine either a sticky frog or a sticky lizard with monster parts. The more frogs or lizards you add, the longer the effects of the elixir will last. This is a great elixir to keep on hand at all times, since it rains pretty frequently in Hyrule, and you might get caught in a storm while climbing a mountain. Sticky frogs and sticky lizards can be found commonly within caves. Take note that the sticky elixir doesn't completely prevent you from slipping, just that you'll slip far less often when climbing in the rain. Number 2. 
hearty fried wild greens. Hearty radishes can be used to increase your maximum health, and hearty fried wild greens are a great way to get a full heal in while also giving you some temporary hearts. To make it, simply cook a hearty radish and you'll get a dish that fully restores your HP and adds three temporary hearts on top of it. Use more radishes or a big hearty radish and you'll gain even more temporary hearts. Hearty radishes can be found in the fields around Hyrule, and you can also have a chance to find them on Sky Islands or in treasure chests in monster encampments. Number one, Enduring Fried Wild Greens. Enduring Fried Wild Greens will add a large amount of additional stamina to your stamina wheel. To make the dish, combine Endura Carrots with Hyrule Herbs. The dish can be extremely helpful if you need to glide somewhere far away, climb a tall mountain, or sprint a lot during a fight with a tough boss. The amount of Endura Carrots used in the dish will increase the amount of additional stamina that's added, while the number of Hyrule Herbs will increase the amount of hearts that are replenished when eating. And that's our list of the best dishes in Tears of the Kingdom. Did we miss an essential dish that's been crucial to your time in the game? Make sure to let me know in the comments below, and while you're down there, like this video, subscribe to Dual Shockers, and click the bell icon to be notified whenever we post more Tears of the Kingdom content.